Hello gamers, it's Wintermute here from Guarding This Game and we're continuing our search for the water geyser. We haven't found one yet. We've explored a good chunk of the map. We found a few natural gas geysers and we found a chlorine geyser recently. Where is it? I think it's down here? Yeah, right here. These are new in the uh, outbreak update. Uh, we'll be making heavy use of this, but what we re we really need is a water geyser because we're going to run out of water. There's a little a bit of clean water here, which is oh, there it is. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's been there the whole oh, not the whole time, but because we just recently went down here, but hiding away. Well, time to uh, end this episode. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll be getting in there and uh, using that water pretty soon. Very, very soon. Okay, let's get in there. Let's, uh, what's the germ? Oh, crazy amount of germs here. But we need that water. Is there a clean way to get in there? I don't think so. Maybe if we go over top here. Try that. Yeah, I'm gonna cut in here. And there might be a way we can cleanly get in there. And there's some algae on the way we can take advantage of. Oh, I'm so happy I found that. After complaining for so long. Now you may want to prevent dupes from going into areas like this. Because uh, they're just gonna get full of slime lung. One thing you can do is put in a air purifier, air filter. What do they call it? Air deodorizer? Deodorizer. And just kind of let it take care of all the air. I guess you can't lock it off because they gotta come and change the sand out. But you can at least limit access into nasty areas like this. This puffed is gonna do a pretty good job of cleaning the air out. He's, uh, it'll take him a while though. Because the polluted oxygen can get in here. So, given many, many cycles, this will clean itself, but this uh, filter will, this deodorizer will help it speed along. I'm so happy with our chlorine storage. All the materials that go in here, the germs don't last very long. So whenever you can, try to avoid going through the slime lung. If it gets cold enough, it'll just die on its own. The natural gas from this geyser is now making its way in here, which is good. Seems to be enough to keep this going. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love when they get stuck like this. should make it so they just, if they can dig themselves out, they do. It's not too hot in here. Except when it's giving off steam, then it's super hot. It is pretty far away though. Actually very far away. Could put a pump here. Pump it all the way up and over. We could also pump it into this ice biome to cool it down. This would make a really nice clean water reservoir in this natural formation here. And it would cool it down. And this abyss light, as far as I know, never breaks, so we could fill this all the way to the brim. That would be a lot of a lot of water and it's sterile already. Kind of like that idea. You just strip mine this down. Get all the polluted ice out of it. So I'm going to strip mine this area out and use it as a giant clean water pool. So we'll pipe the water from the geyser over here. It'll naturally cool. 
and then we can use it from here. And it's not too far from the base. That way we don't have to build a containing vessel, we can just use this and then we get natural cooling without having to build a bunch of crazy cooling. We're going to put a storage container here and there. Some mesh tile and we'll store polluted ice in here on a high priority and that way it'll heat up, melt and contribute to our polluted water tank. Seems like a good idea. Never done that before. So polluted ice, priority nine. Maybe priority eight. Nine's a bit much. Nine is reserved for emergencies. So slime lung dies when it's on carbon dioxide, which is good. So all the slime lung in here should eventually just dissipate. Not the stuff in the uh, slime itself, but in the gas. Take a very long time though. But in polluted oxygen, it grows by 300%. So you want to clean that nasty, nasty polluted oxygen. Now this chlorine geyser, I hope will just fill up this whole area. Oh my gosh, look at all that food. That's a lot of food. I like how the base is hot on this side and cool on this side. I think at a certain point you might be able to eliminate all disease you get enough carbon dioxide and pure oxygen and chlorine. I think eventually everything would just die. If you keep it nice and clean. That, that might be our goal. Let's see what diseases like zoomed way out. Okay, we got it. Slime lung here, 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 here. Basically where all the slime is. We had three shine bugs in here when we started, when we were able to see this room. Looks like two have died, I'm not sure why. Maybe too hot? It's only a couple degrees above its normal. It says it likes 37. How's our little experiment going here? It's minus 41 in here. No solid uh, carbon forming yet. Okay, gotta get down to minus 48 first. Might need a few more weaselworts. This is just about ready. Look at this, we're burning through our polluted water. How much fertilizer do we have? 50,000. We could disable these and hope we have enough natural gas. Let's eject this ice. Oh, it didn't fall all the way through. I'm an idiot. Maybe it'll melt there. Last time I did this didn't heat up and then I t looked away and I came back and it was all melted. Oh no, they're just putting it back in. 18,000 kilograms of polluted ice. Bathing in hot atmosphere. And yet it's not melting. This, is ha this has to be a bug. Unless it just takes forever to ice for ice to melt. But I don't think so. Oh no, if he gets out here we're in trouble. It's gonna freeze. Oh 
Oh, Mr. Puffed. Yeah, you're gonna die. Why wouldn't you stay in your warm little pocket? Let's at least airlock this so he can't get too far away. I mean, eventually he'd end up here. <laughs> in theory, he would end up here. I think we might actually want to go down here and let it all drain in here. Means getting some slime lung. But that's okay. It's a dirty operation. Releasing millions and millions of slime lung. There she blows. Guess we'll get her pump in down here. And power this with a coal generator. So we have some coal we can waste. This filled up really fast. Faster than I thought it would. We are going to get some polluted water along the way, but that's okay. We can filter it out on the other side once we cool it down. Here comes, here comes. Here comes the water, dirty and clean. That took a while. I saved you guys from watching all that being built. You're welcome. We need to put a pump in the bottom first. <laughs> or we're never going to get this water back out. Silly me. That looks like a good spot, the very bottom. We should probably put a, a valve on this. Uh, plumbing. Liquid valve. I could have filtered it before I dumped it in here, but whatever. We'll let them build all that. Oh, it's a tangled web. <laughs> I gotta remap a lot of this stuff now that I have clean water. Well, that took a while, but uh, it's working now, I think. It's very confusing and it's a bit of a cobweb, but that's because we had a bunch of stuff built with filters before and now we have clean water. Okay, I need to explain my crazy setup here. So we finally found our geyser down here, as you know, and we're pumping out of here, over here, over to here, and we're dumping it. In this area here. This is going to be our big giant w clean water reservoir. Then we're going to pump out of here. It's going to be cooler by now, I think, because we're cooling it down here. And we might get polluted water in here too, so we have a filter, right? There's a bridge here. Goes into a filter. Clean water comes out one end. Polluted water comes out the other. Polluted water goes in and over to this tank. Clean water goes up into the base, along here, to some washrooms, and also into this tank here. Now we could get rid of this tank, but for now I'm going to leave it because it's a good accessible bottler source. But aside from that, I'll probably reroute this pump here, or get rid of this pump, and feed in directly to these showers and toilets from this line. I'm not quite sure yet. This is very messy. A lot going on there. I want to simplify it and clean it up. <laughs> We've got this line going nowhere now, this polluted water one. Two of them actually. Probably still need this polluted water going to the fertilizer makers, but everything above that can probably go. In fact, I think I might just get rid of it right now. We had bio distillers up top before. But I'm going to get rid of them. And during all that, we ran out of algae. So we're going to have to go find some more algae and get some more slime mined for this algae distiller. 
So this water is coming in at 50 degrees and leaving at 16 degrees. Eventually this area will heat up. But for now it's going to be fine. Which if, we, if we use non-insulated tile we could cool the water along the way here, but we don't need to. The nice thing about this system is we can dump anything in here. And since we're splitting out uh, polluted water right here, makes it kind of flexible. And then end use, we have polluted water here. Just putting in some more levels here for more power. Which will mean more polluted water, which is what we're kind of lacking right now. So we're building our electrolyzer here, now that we have some fresh water from that geyser. And we'll send the oxygen from this into the base. Once we kick it off with this manual generator, hopefully it'll be self-sustaining. Oh, look at that beautiful oxygen. That oxygen might be a bit hot coming in, so we might have to cool it. But it might be okay, we'll see. <laughs> so we have some issues with this area I set up here. Seems like the electrolyzer gives off way more oxygen than hydrogen now. I'm not sure if that's new, but it kind of saturated this whole area with oxygen and it's messing up our whole chlorine room here. So I might have to seal this room and pump chlorine into it. This is sealed now, so... Should kind of make this go better. Getting hot in there though. Probably want a wheeze wart or two in there. Kicking our uh, algae dependency problem. So I'm deconstructing all these uh, algae terrariums. Because I think with uh, electrolyzers we'll be able to get enough oxygen into the base. We might need to build a second one. Even with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Weezworts, <laughs> we can't get this down to minus 48. This experiment was a bit of a failure. Kind of wanted to see if it was possible, but. Maybe if we make the room smaller. Get this resort out of here, seal this up. Okay, sealing this room fixed our chlorine issue. The chlorine seems to have bounced back and filled this up, which is nice.
We got liquid chlorine in here, which is not good. I mean, it's not bad either, but. Just helping in the decor a bit, putting in some painting, sculptures, and more ventilation. And I move these manual generators over here. Just because there's more, there was more oxygen here. They're just kind of out of the way then, instead of in the main area. Got chlorine pouring into the base. It's not good. Where is it coming from? Where is all this chlorine coming from? This airlock, maybe? Don't think so. Could pressurize these grow rooms with carbon dioxide. They don't need to be oxygen. Let's try it with two rooms. So I skipped ahead and uh, these two grow rooms now are sealed and I'm pumping carbon dioxide in here and it's working well, it's keeping it pressurized and it seems to be a decent temperature, the wheeze warts are keeping it nice and cool so if we need more food I might kind of duplicate rooms like this down here although these are fine right now and I built this contraption here it's disabled right now, but it allowed us to get all the chlorine out of the base. And it basically sucks in all the air around it. And it filters chlorine out and sends that off to our chlorine room. Everything else goes into a second filter. And pure oxygen comes out and everything else goes down here, which is mostly carbon dioxide. And it'll float down and our CO2, our air scrubber can clean it up. Our four natural gas power generators are working well. We'll probably put in a fifth or a sixth. But we're going to need to probably join this geyser room with this geyser room. And I might just make a thin little tunnel that goes down here, down here, and into here. Oxygen's a bit thin in the base. As you can see, it's around 700 grams. It's going to need to be higher. Um, I'll probably need to put in a few more pumps and the second electrolyzer is disabled right now, but I gotta enable it. Here's our crazy water system pulling from the geyser room. Bring it around here. I'll probably remove all this pipe and put a straight one in. Dumping into this giant reservoir here to cool down. And then we're pulling it out of here into the base up here. And our uh, polluted water reservoir is actually getting really full now. Even though we got six fertilizer makers on the go. Maybe we'll set up some pinch of pepper nuts to consume this polluted water. Or we could just let it spill over and dump into this area here since it's already kind of a natural formation and there's already polluted water down here. So that could be our new polluted water, extra polluted water area. So this polluted water is full of food poisoning but it doesn't really matter because it's just going into our fertilizer makers. And the fertilizer as it comes out is, uh, there's one little piece there that has food poisoning, but it's generally clean. Everyone has slime lung, but uh, the, all their immune systems are at 100%, so they're, they're dealing with it. They're not, they're not exposed to too much slime lung. If you guys are wondering how I zoom out like this, I use Alt-S, it's the screenshot mode. It's pretty handy for seeing things. Once you're zoomed out, you can do Alt-S and to get the labels back so you can see things. It's a good way to keep an eye on the base. Well, that's it for this episode. Um, hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying these videos and want to get alerted on future videos that I put out. I'll probably be doing one or two a day uh, while I build this base out. And as always, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.